So it's time I show some love to a series that I've kind of neglected a bit on this channel. These games are a special part of my childhood and introduced the world to 3D fighting games. So yeah, in this video I'll be talking about my history with Sega's Virtua Fighter series. I'll mostly be talking about the first two because those games are the ones that really resonated with me. The first Virtua Fighter was released in 1993 and it was all over my local arcades. And when I first saw this game, oh man, little kid Mike practically shat his pants after seeing this. Those graphics were unbelievable. Other than Star Fox, which you know barely counts, I think Virtual Fighter was my first introduction to polygons. And like, yeah, I know how this looks today, but believe me, if you were there at the time, this was pretty revolutionary. As far as gameplay goes, it didn't have the crazy fireballs and lasers and stuff like Street Fighter Mortal Kombat. It was more focused on the hand-to-hand -hand combat, and more grounded in reality, except for those crazy moon jumps. Those took getting used to. But yeah, I played this one at the arcade all the time back in the day. I don't know if I really had a favorite character in this first game, I kind of switched between them all the time. I just really enjoyed it. And so naturally, they had to bring Virtua Fighter to their new 32-bit powerhouse console, the Sega Saturn. It didn't look as good as the arcade version, but hey, it was Virtua Fighter on the Saturn. I actually didn't play much of the first Virtua Fighter on the Saturn, so I don't really have much else to say about that, but yeah. And they also brought it to the 32X, because hey, why not? It didn't look great, but it probably looked about as good as it could have on the 32X, so that's something. It was really the game that came after this that I got really into, which would of course be the awesome, amazing, Virtua Fighter Tiger Electronics game. Aw oh, yeah, this is the shit! But nah, for reals, Virtua Fighter 2, holy shit, this game, th this was the one. It looked better, it played better, and it introduced my favorite character, Leon, or as I called him as a kid, Lion. Rawr. Look at that smug face, he's such an asshole, I love him. And of course I have to mention the soundtrack in this game because oh man, the music in Virtua Fighter 2 is so good, definitely the best in the series, by far. This game is just really special to me because... For a while, this was one of the only Saturn games I had, and when friends came over to see the new system, this was the game we'd play together. I did so many versus matches in this game. Such good times. Such good times. I also played this a lot in single player mode just because I love this game so much. When I think of the Sega Saturn, Virtua Fighter 2 is one of the first games that comes to mind. This is one of my favorite games from the mid-90s, and I really don't know why I haven't talked about it much on my channel until just now. I'm correcting that mistake now, at least. Also worth noting is that, as of this recording, Virtua Fighter 2 is still available on the Xbox family of systems. I've read that the old Xbox Live Arcade games are going away soon, so you might want to hurry up and get this if you haven't already. I would highly recommend it. I should also mention that there are some spin-off games on the Saturn that I have no personal history with, so for the sake of this video, I'm not going to bother talking about these. The sequels that came after Virtual Fighter 2 didn't quite hit as hard for me, and don't get me wrong, these are great games and there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that Virtual Fighter 2 was so special to me that these games had an impossibly high bar to clear. Also by that point, 3D fighting games were kind of all over the place, so maybe that made Virtual Fighter seem less special, I don't know. With that being said though, I still have really good memories with Virtual Fighter 3, 4, and 5. Also more recently, I got a renewed interest with the release of Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown on PS4. I played this one a bunch with friends and it just reminded me how great of a game Virtual Fighter 5 is. Like seriously, this is one of the best 3D fighting games ever made and I hate that I didn't appreciate it more back when it was originally released. Like for reals, you guys should all go play this. So yeah, that briefly sums up my history with Virtual Fighter. I just wanted to make a video dedicated to the series because I felt like it deserved it. I've read rumors that Virtual Fighter 6 is supposedly in development, but after following Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I have known not to trust rumors. Don't get me wrong though, I'd love for Virtual Fighter 6 to come out. This series needs a new entry already. And speaking of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I love how Akira got in as an assist trophy with his low poly model and all. That was amazing. Whether or not we see any new entries in this series though, I'll always have my memories. Thanks for listening to me talk about Virtual Fighter, and I hope you all have a hat stack and good day.